Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach has been released for over a year now, but many mysteries still lie within the Pizzaplex. There's the mystery of the Blob, Burn Trap, and the identity of Gregory. These mysteries are all important to the story of Security Breach while also being important to the overall franchise. And the two mysteries I'm going to discuss in this video are no exception, and of course, I'm talking about the disappearance of Glamrock Bonnie and Foxy. In every FNAF game, Bonnie and Foxy are always present in some shape or form. It might be in the form of Springtrap or a Nightmare Foxy, but they're always there. In Security Breach, they are nowhere to be found. Although some people think that Roxy is a form of Foxy, but I have to disagree since they are different in so many ways. Bonnie, on the other hand, is in the game since he's a part of Bonnie Bull, but he's not physically there. So in this video, I'm going to answer the infamous question of what happened to Glamrock Bonnie and Foxy in FNAF Security Breach. In Security Breach, the three main animatronics make sense as they're just Glamrock versions of their previous selves, except for Monty. It's obvious that Monty's a replacement for Bonnie, so where is he? Like I mentioned before, he does technically make an appearance at his location, Bonnie Bowl. But even then, it's only the logo where he appears. Again, it feels like he disappeared, but there are some clues to help us find out what happened to him. When using Freddy and when going to Bonnie's booth, Freddy tells Gregory that he doesn't come up here often and that he misses him. This proves that Bonnie was a part of the main group at some point, but again just disappeared. Although the messages Gregory receives may reveal what exactly happened to him. Through the messages on the Faz Watch, it's revealed that Bonnie was last seen in Monty Golf, conveying that Monty was responsible for getting rid of Bonnie for some reason. This makes sense, as in one of the endings where Freddy is destroyed, Monty takes over as the leader of the group, proving his always wanted fame and power. While playing Monty Golf, there's also an easter egg where Freddy is in a dumpster while Monty is the star, again proving his always wanted fame. But there may also be another reason why Monty would want to destroy Bonnie, which was to create Burn Trap. When you first encounter Vanessa when she talks to Freddy, she walks away into a fenced off area. When you access this fenced off area using Monty's claws, you find a duffel bag and a leg of an endoskeleton. This bag contains the same message that I just mentioned which discusses where Bonnie was last seen, which again was in Gator Golf. Because this bag is related to Bonnie, it only makes sense that the leg of the endoskeleton belongs to Bonnie himself. When closer examining the leg, there also appears to be blue paint which is just more proof that this belongs to Bonnie. Although it was discovered that this blue paint is on all endoskeletons, but even then it's very clear that this leg belongs to Bonnie and it's the only physical item we have. There's even more proof that comes from Burn Trap's design. He only has one leg which is intact and this most likely belonged to Bonnie with the other leg being scrapped and staying in the fenced off area. With all of this evidence, we can conclude that Bonnie was a part of the main group at some point, but Vanny ordered Monty to break apart Bonnie so that he could take his place and so that Vanny could use his parts to rebuild Springtrap. It's obvious Bonnie had a large part in this story as there's plenty of evidence to support what happened to him, but there's no evidence or even a mention that there was ever a Glamrock Foxy, although he is in the game in many different iterations. There is a poster of a movie featuring Foxy, and he is also featured in some arcade games in many different iterations. A sort of statue of Foxy as a pirate can also be found in the Kids Cove playground. It's clear that Foxy had an impact on the making of the Pizza Plex, but Glamrock Foxy is nowhere to be found. But in the same playground, a lighthouse under construction can be found. It's speculated that Glamrock Foxy was going to have an attraction and the lighthouse would be a part of it. The Kids Cove is about the same size as other attractions like Monty Golf or Roxy's Raceway, but there's no animatronic supervising it. Kids Cove is actually the only location without an animatronic on the face of it, and it's obvious Foxy was there. But there's no answer or even evidence supporting what happened to him. Although the answer may be a lot more simple than many of us are making it seem. It may be possible that Foxy's popularity shrunk compared to the other animatronics, causing Fazbear's Entertainment to make Roxy. Or it could simply be that Roxy stopped working and ran out of commission. These would make sense, but there's still very little evidence supporting these theories and it's very possible that Glamrock Foxy never even existed. And instead, Roxy was a part of the main group from the beginning. There's a lot of evidence supporting the disappearance of Bonnie, but with Foxy there's basically nothing. Even when researching online, I couldn't find any evidence supporting his disappearance and I think it's safe to conclude that Glamrock Foxy never even existed. But these are just theories since it still hasn't been confirmed what happened to Glamrock Bonnie and Foxy. Although we may find out in the Ruined DLC which releases this July. This DLC is introducing new characters and new lore so it's very possible we finally find out what happened to these animatronics. But what do you guys think happened to Glamrock Bonnie and Foxy in Security Breach and were they ever really involved in the story? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.